I believe in winning the battle against yourself. People say, why do you say that? Because there's a lot of things you can control. When you wake up, I talk about making your bed. Make your bed, make sure your house is clean, make sure you get your breakfast, make sure you shower, shave, whatever you're doing, control that. Don't hit the snooze button. All these things are very important. That's been told a lot of times. Why don't you hit the snooze button? Because you wake up already failing. You're already mm -hmm. behind the power curve. So what happens when you hit the snooze button? You may not make your bed. You may not do your hair the way you want it. You may not pick the right clothes out in the morning time. And I go back to this real quick. Remember how you had a job interview for a job? We've had several of them in our lives. What did you do the night before that job, weeks before the job interview, when you knew you had it? You prepared your, you know, you had a bowl out for your oatmeal, your cereal, whatever you had in the morning time. Your coffee cup was out. Your clothes were laid out. You studied, you rehearsed, you were ready. You brought your best self. Mm. You're going to war with yourself because you wanted that interviewer to see your best self. You won. You got the job. After a few months in that job, you look around, I got the job. You start to back off. The clothes aren't out. You're not ready. You're hitting the snooze button. You don't get up on time anymore. You realize that you can still have this job and not be your best self. The interview you is gone. Your job is gone. You have your job, but the interview you is gone. So winning the battle in the morning time is just that. Is that you wake up in the morning time and you own all this stuff. Because once you leave your house, the world then gets at you. And that's why I believe in not, not, not getting up in the morning time and checking your phone immediately. Everybody does that. They get up, the first thing they do is they grab their phone. Look at the phone. Maybe bad news on there. Mm. So how's your day start off? I don't go to the gym. I don't make my bed. I don't. You're caught up now on that phone. That's how your day starts. You lost control. So once you win that, once you win that battle in the morning time, then once you go out, now you've won. You go outside your house, you may lose your job, you may have a bad hit, but you won something. So, so you're going into battle having already won something, having already won. So then if you hit the snooze button, you go out, you just defeated already. You're behind the power curve. Now you've won something, you feel better about yourself. So now you're able to take these hits along the way. So that's the mindset that I think it's important to bring with you every day you go, everywhere you go in life. Win okay. what you can. People want to know how to stop the laziness and they want to know how to stop the procrastination. They have some idea in their head, you know, some kind of a, a vision of what they want to do, but they don't know where to start. They don't know where to start it, you know? They don't know where to start. And so they say, hey, where do I start? And, and when's the best time to start? And I have a very simple answer for that. Here and now. That's it. You, you want to improve? You want to get better? You want to get on a workout program or a clean diet? You want to start a business? You want to write a book or make a movie or build a house or a computer or put together some mobile application? Where do you start? You start right here. And when do you start? You start right now. You initiate the action aggressively. You go. Because the idea isn't going to execute itself. And, and the book isn't going to write itself. And the, the weights out in the gym, they're not going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. And that means you got to stop thinking about it and stop dreaming about it and stop researching every aspect of it and reading all about it and debating the pros and cons of it. Just start doing it. Take that first step and make it happen. Get after it and get after it here and now. When I'm tired or worn out or basically sick of the grind, what do I do on those days? I go anyways. I get it done even if I'm just going through the motions. I go through the motions. I don't really want to work out. I work out. I, I really don't want to hammer on a project. I hammer on the project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed. I get up and get out of bed. Now these could be signals that you need some time off and those signals might be right they could be correct but
don't take today off. Not today. Wait until tomorrow. Don't don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen to that little voice. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the project. Get out of bed. Now, as an overall rule, I do not like procrastination. You need to get things done. But if you are going to rest, that is one thing that you should procrastinate on. That's the one thing I want you to put off until tomorrow. And if, when tomorrow comes, you still feel like you need to rest or you need to take a break, then okay, take it. But the chances are, you won't. You won't need that rest. Chances are you will realize that the desire to rest was just weakness. It was just the desire to take the path of least resistance, the downhill path, the easy path. Simply going through the motions, you overcame that path. And you stayed on the righteous path, the disciplined path. You stayed on the war path, which is right where you know that you belong. I want you to look at something right now. Think of some major goal you want, or maybe it's one you're already working on. And you have experienced a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. You've experienced a lot of disappointment. Maybe you've already given up. And maybe you just need a little fire, a little encouragement to get back in the game again. Here's what I want you to look at. There are winners, there are losers, and there are people who have not discovered how to win. And all they need is some coaching. All they need is some help and assistance, just a little support. All they need is some insight. or a different strategy or plan of action to make some adjustments that will open up the key to a whole new future for them, that will give them access to the unlimited power that they have within themselves. That's all that they need. So what I want you to do is is think about something you want for you, that's real for you, that's important for you, that will give your life some special meaning and power. And I don't even want you to say, I can do that. I don't want you to assume that look into the future while other people are giving up feeling like victims feeling powerless becoming negative turning on each other rather than to each other
feeling that they can't make it. Be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind with the mindset of that it's possible that we can save this generation. that we can create new industries, a new economy. It's possible that I can find a new profession, a new job. It's possible I can create a new life. And it's necessary that I become actively involved in becoming a positive force in my life and on the planet. And it's me, yes, it's you, it's all of us, pulling together, working together to create this brand new future. And it's going to be hard. Easy is not an option. But if it's hard, we will do it hard. Whatever is required to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. And it's worth it, yes. It's worth whatever we have to do. And once we know that, it is done. It is done. <laughs>